Yesterday, Minister of Finance Dr. Ashni Singh spread Christmas cheer among Indigenous children in Region 5. More from Michael Khan. We will continue to work fervently to ensure that the quality of life enjoyed by the people of Morocco Bay is consistently improved over time. That was the senior minister within the office of the president, Dr. Ashni Singh, addressing the indigenous people of Maraikobai village, which is located 96 miles away from the confluence of the Mahaikoni River in region number 5. It is my privilege to hand over to the boys and girls of Maraikobai. Toys for which, which we hope and expect you will enjoy during Christmas as a special Christmas present from President Mohammed Irfan Ali to the boys and girls of Morocco. Right, this young man, as soon as I came in, he greeted me. He said, Uncle, the toys come. I said, the toys come. You see these boxes, the toys come. So let's get on with the more important business of sharing all these toys on behalf of our president to the boys and girls of Morakobai and wish them and their parents and this entire village a very Merry Christmas from our president, the entire cabinet and the entire government and the People's Progressive Party. The Honorable Minister with Responsibility for Finance spread Christmas cheer to the children of the Riverine community by distributing 250 gifts with the assistance of Member of Parliament Faisal Jafar Ali and the team on Sunday, December 17th. I want to show you that we will continue to lend our support. We will continue to ensure that your health facilities, healthcare delivery, education delivery, human development continue to take place here in Marakabai. Dr. Singh was well received following his maiden voyage, and to show Derek John publicly expressed his gratitude to the minister and the government of Guyana. So I want you to take the opportunity of um, thanking him, right, and the government of Guyana. Because you see, um, everything that is happening in Morocco, it has to go through this gentleman, our honorable minister. And he is always a, a person that you can rely upon that when we make our proposals and requests, he and um, His Excellency will have to sit down and they will have to give the green light. So, Minister, on behalf of the people of Marakbay, we want to say a big thank you to the government of Guyana. And we surely appreciate the government of Guyana. Following the distribution of toys and the meet and greet, Dr. Ashni Singh and the team conducted a walkabout in the community following the consumption of a sumptuous lunch which included the traditional Amerindian pepper pot and the cassava bread, along with true Guyanese cook-up rice, barbecued chicken with rich salad. Eventful trip to Maraikobai village has come to an end. I am Michael Khan reporting for Channel 8 News. And finally, on this edition of Channel 8 News, Michael Khan gives a snippet about place of worship. Walking around the riverine village of Maraikobai, which is located 96 miles away from the confluence of the Maikoni River, it would take little effort to notice a flat wooden building painted in blue and white. That building is the St. Francis Anglican Church. This reporter briefly spoke with the Tushau of the village, Derek John, about the church which was established many years ago. The Anglican Church was the first um, set of missionaries that came and um, I think the, the priest that first came, he was also the first headmaster so he, he did dual um, work in terms of the education and the religious sector of the village. Since then they have several other priests that came to work with the village. So at presently we have um, a resident priest. His name is Malcolm Andres. Not many inhabitants of the remote village are attending the St. Francis Church. 
It's not that vibrant anymore, like how it used to be a couple of years ago, because we have some other um, denominations came like the Pentecostal and other groups. Raikobai has a little over 500 inhabitants. Michael Kahn, Channel 8 News.